It grew out of a uh, small meeting of a number of foundations simply kicking around how we could do more to try to accelerate change in the regional economy. It's not typically an area that a lot of foundations invest in. You know, we're used to funding nonprofits in human services or the arts or education or whatever, but we really saw the distress that nonprofits were under because the economy was in trouble. And so we thought we could do more to help. And out of a long series of conversations came the idea of pooling money and creating a decision-making process that was very collaborative. And from that, we got started now almost nine years ago to uh, not only launch the fund, but to continually reevaluate how we're making an impact in Northeast Ohio. So uh, we're pretty happy with how it's uh, gone so far. Voices and Choices was an effort on our part to do two things, really. One was to educate the public about the realities of regional economics and the fact that we're all on the same team when it comes to global economic competition. And it's not Cleveland or Cuyahoga County or any other county or city, but it's a regional phenomenon. So it was partly to educate people, but then it was also to get from people their thoughts about what we ought to be doing. And then we married what people told us to a lot of economic research that we did with a team of economists led by the local Federal Reserve Bank and others. And those married up very well into a strategy that we call Advanced Northeast Ohio. And we've been pursuing that strategy ever since. Advanced Northeast Ohio is really a four-part strategy for making Northeast Ohio the most competitive region it can be in the global economy. It's got four parts. One is business growth and attraction, which is sort of the bread and butter and what might be thought of as economic development. We think of advanced Northeast Ohio as being about economic competitiveness. It's a broader strategy. So it also includes talent development and attraction, inclusion, recognizing that places that put everybody on the team effectively do better. And the last one is government collaboration, because we're a place that has a legacy of a tremendous amount of government fragmentation, which costs us a lot of money and which makes it harder to develop a coherent strategy. So working on that in a way that can contribute to a more coherent, effective strategy is what that is about. Well, there are a lot of things that philanthropy can do, and we have advantages that other sectors don't have. We're, we're able to take risk in a lot of ways that others may not because they have to worry about shareholders or their bottom line. And so if we choose to be risk-taking, I think uh, we're able to do that a little more quickly and effectively. And so that's what the fund is doing. We're taking a lot of risks that foundations maybe historically hadn't taken. So we're able to do that, but we're also able to uh, convene people in a way that is somewhat easier because we're viewed more neutrally or maybe even more positively perhaps than other sectors in the economy and in the community. So we're able to bring people together and we can fund research and we can uh, do some things that are necessary to sort of seed the regional economy more effectively, but we also recognize we have to do this in partnership with the business community, corporations directly, and through organizations like Chambers of Commerce and others that are business associations, and with government. I mean, this is about everybody pulling together more effectively, building a kind of collaboration that's really necessary to fuel growth. We're trying to fund areas that are regional strengths. We're not trying to be Silicon Valley, we're not trying to be Austin, Texas, we're trying to be the best Northeast Ohio and take advantage of our regional strengths. And we certainly have them in manufacturing. Manufacturing's not dead, it's undergoing a tremendous change, but it's rebounding, but it has to be smart and effective in thinking about new markets. So we fund an organization called Magnet, which works in manufacturing. We support BioEnterprise, which builds on our regional strength in the health sciences. And we support an organization like Nortec, which looks for regional strengths in the technology field. And Team Neo, which is our regional business attraction uh, entity, and which is now in a key role acting for the state of Ohio, almost like their agent in Northeast Ohio to be the state development arm. And those are some of the major grantees, not all of them, but those are some of the organizations that we're supporting because they 
reflect our advantage that we can build on in order to be more competitive. Uh, at least our version of it is unique. And we know that some other places like Southeast Michigan have developed uh, their own model and they came here to learn about the fund before doing that. And we've understood that some other regions are now looking at the same thing because they recognize uh, that the fund really has tapped into something here that is, if not unique any longer, uh, at least is a powerful tool to advance the regional economy. And so by pulling people together and pulling philanthropy together, itself an unusual phenomenon, then uh, they really can make progress because they see us doing it. We know that the work to transform the regional economy is long-term work. This isn't something you do in even a decade. And so we did, in starting the fund, create what we call the Dashboard of Economic Indicators, which is a set of metrics that we're looking at over time to see if we and others working together are really moving the needle on the economy. And so we'll be watching that and, and modifying it as needed going along. We're undergoing a uh, reevaluation of all our work right now, in fact, using some uh, consultants to help us think about what we've done, where we're going, how we can improve, and all of that. So, you know, we're always looking at how to do a better job. We don't think we have a magic formula. We know that this is tough work. We know it's long-term work, but we're committed to sticking with it in order to make the kind of difference that's needed.